So now that you know how trauma works, you know how therapy can help heal trauma, and you know what to look for in a therapist, here's a little bit about my story. I grew up in a family where emotions were not dealt with well. And that includes all emotions, the unpleasant ones, the pleasant ones. Um, love was not freely expressed in words. Anger was not freely expressed in words, although it was expressed in, a in actions that I found very frightening. I found conflict tremendously frightening based on the way that my parents expressed their anger and dealt with their conflict. I never really saw a conflict resolved, so that led me to be very frightened of conflict. I adopted my first career as a computer engineer where I didn't have to deal with emotions at all. And looking back, it was a very successful survival strategy at the time because I was a very intelligent kid. Computers came along and I needed some other way to deal with these feelings that I had that nobody else in my family seemed to be acknowledging. So I became a computer engineer, loved that for about 15 years, burned out over the next five years, wandered in the wilderness for ages until I realized that I needed to learn how to deal with my emotions. And that's what led me down the path of becoming a life coach, a therapist, and a counselor. Um, during that time, while I was working as an engineer, I actually worked on a crisis hotline as a crisis counselor in the evenings. So I learned a lot about counseling in that mode, but the style of counseling that I did was very uh, detached in a sense because we were taught not to reveal anything about ourselves to the callers and that was important for that service because the callers needed to feel free that they could ring at any time and get exactly the same service regardless of who was answering the telephone that day. However now as a therapist I recognize that empathy is a core component of the healing relationship and I actually share a lot about myself with my clients because my stories can help stimulate their emotions lead to a greater sense of trust between us and as a result heal their emotional wounds much more quickly than if I was just presenting a sort of a blank face that many psychologists and psychiatrists are trained to present to their clients. I find that empathic connection is greatly heightened by me sharing quite a lot about myself although what I, when I'm doing that it's always focused on how this is going to meet the need of the client because ultimately the therapy is not about me it's really about getting the client and um, healing your emotional trauma so that you can feel free. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you're looking for a therapist, I have some time slots available. Uh, I work via Skype, which means that no matter where you are in the world, uh, I'm available. Although I'd have to say the UK and the European time zones are not quite so good as America or Australia, and I'm English speaking, so whatever country you're in, you're gonna to need to be able to speak English um, because my French is not that fantastic and um, uh, I've forgotten most of the sign language that I've learned. Um, I also am into music. Uh, I think music can be a really healing tool and I also love doing comedy. So I like to make our sessions quite fun. Um, particularly, I believe that dealing with unpleasant emotions is very painful, obviously. And if it can be fun at the end of the session, then I believe that reinforces the whole trauma healing thing, which is why I'm now, writing songs and um, that I think are really funny and very angry. Um, I had a lot of struggle dealing with anger in my life and learning how to express that freely rather than to internalize that has been a big part of my journey. So if you're in a situation where you're feeling anxious and you're needing someone to talk about that or you're lacking confidence or you're depressed and you think there might be some underlying childhood trauma stuff going on, which my belief is that almost always there is, then drop me a line, get in touch. Uh, we can line up a session. I'm happy to talk to you for a half hour at no charge uh, in order to give you a sense of certainty that I am the best person to help you if I in fact am. And at the end of that half hour, you'll know whether you want to do paid sessions with me or whether somebody else will be a better. So if you're interested, drop me a line and I hope you found this helpful. Bye.